out for a little bit of a mudlark today, mm -hmm. like usual. Yeah. Out looking for great finds. Yeah, little gems. Little gems. All sorts of goodens. Goodies. Goodies and goodens. Don't forget to check, check everything, check. <laughs> check your likes, check your subscribes and check your notifications. Don't just check it for our channel, check it for everyone's channel. Yeah. With saying that, check everything. <laughs> <laughs> Once you finish checking everything, we can get going. Let's get going. Right, we're here. We've made it. The leveled off bit. We're not going to have a look on this until the end because this is a place you really need to thoroughly walk up and down on. Up and down to see any gems that have been revealed by the rain. We usually find beads and such things here. There's a big hole there. Holes over there. Hopefully diggers have been. Um, well, come on, we'll try this side first. You might as well come with me. You're on now. Oh, what's that little bottle there? That looks like a nice little ink, is it? Oh, nice little, little chunky one. Have you found something, Mick? Yeah, it looks like it would have been a jug or something. That? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, tiny little one. Tiny, tiny little one. What's that underneath there? That's something. Oh, the bottom of a cow, I think. That looks like others. Oh, that looks like the back of a doll's head. Oh, it might just be the bottom. Oh, it's just the bottom of a giant one. Oh my God, that would have been an absolute whopper. But if that's here, the rest of it must be here as well. Oh, look at that, it's just the, there's nothing. A cheek, you just about got a cheek on it. That's all, oh, what a shame. Right, that little, that little stubby thing is nice. You can imagine there's lots of, but yeah, that was like the bottom of a cow. Can you see some udders there of no use whatsoever? Bottle, there's no embossing on that. Right, okay, so let's have a, a look on the spoil because this is all new. This is a new hole, definitely. That's definitely lots of new digging there. Oh gosh, right, where to, where to start? Where do we start? Let's have a look here. What's this? What have we got here? Oh, on this little pile. Oh, a little glass without its base. Okay, nice colour bottles. Oh, a lid. Well, we know we can use those for craft. That's that. A vase, but it's busted. Well, and truly busted, but it's worth showing, isn't it? Oh, doorknob. Is that a brass one? I think that's a brass doorknob. I shall keep that. That will come in handy for something. Use it as a stopper, if nothing else. Can you imagine if I was doing a bottle like this? Maybe slightly bigger. That would be a nice stopper in there, gilded maybe or something like that. So that is a keeper, a brass doorknob. Down there. Yes. Yeah. See if Sarah can pick it up. Oh, I'm attached to Sarah. One Oh, right, Mick says he's spotted a bead. Now let's go and see if I can find it. <laughs> Not always the case, right? Is it right in front of you? So, is it right in front? Oh, gosh, it's gigantic. It's gigantic. Yeah, usual colour, blue. Blue glass bead. There you go. That's a super little find, a little gem. Oh, jam pots. I'm not going to keep them, but oh, that's, that's even got a lid put with it. Another one. Oh, that's a nice one. That is a nice one. Oh, jam pot, marmalade jar, whatever you want to call them. They are lovely little finds. Right, I'm going to pop that bead in my pocket and then I'm going to go back over to the start of the spoil over here. In fact, come on, you with me now. You might as well come with me on the journey. Ignoring these, we'll look at these in a bit. Look at this in a bit. Let's start over here at the start. Otherwise, we're going to miss stuff. Right, super tiny little ox so that's a that's a super tiny one that is right we've got a green jar nope let's see if we can see any little gems on here what's that what's that oh that was like um a lid off a an inkwell you know what i mean the the glass inkwells and it would like had a, like a hinged lid we'd never find the lid so there you go that's a good little find a little hinged lid Oh, that teapot there. 
<laughs> with flowers on so and awful pattern so two things going on there that don't do it any favors let's have a look see if there's anything else i think we'll just stand and do a big sweep over it oh, what's that blue bit of blue coloring sometimes it looks like beads but it's just like a bit of mica or a bit of um oh what's that oh that would have been like a is that a curtain ring do you think or a picture ring would have had a picture in it don't know not sure right i'll keep looking i'll bring you back if i see anything okay just staring at me here can you see it a bright green bead there you go a bit of a different color makes a change from the blue doesn't it but a nice green one the, the water because it's raining last night so all the rain has washed the water off these lovely little finds these lovely little gems of beads that's a super find. A little bit of a uh, foot, there's a lot of flies here. It's driving me mad. A little uh, doll's foot. Or leg, can I say. Oh, I've just had a, a leg lobbed at me. That one is a little bit too big to keep. Looks like a celluloid plastic leg of a, a big dolly. Uh, if it was a, one of the little tiny ones, I do keep the tiny ones, but not that. It's just. Just a little bit too big for me. <laughs> Unless the whole of the doll is there, of course, then I would be tempted, but no, not just for not just for a giant leg. There you go, a celluloid, celluloid plastic doll's leg. 19, hmm, 1930s, I would say late 1930s. There's a bit of a bead down here. Look at that. That's a round one. I can get it. Yeah, nice bead there. Yeah? Keeper. Oh, Mix found another blue bead. Very, very similar colour to the first one. Great find, Mark. Oh. The rain just washes all the soil off the beads. God, I can't believe how many. Be oh, there, is that another one? Is that another? No way. Oh, it's half. Oh, it's a half a bead. It nearly was a bead. But you see what I mean? The rain just washes the soil. Just, just slides off these beads and leaves them on the surface. So I think Mick is going to go over there. He's getting attacked by the flies. A lot of flies here today. He's getting well and truly mithered by them but yeah a little bead we'll keep that couple couple of little metal lids there and that one looks like it was a hinged one as well there you go a couple of little i'm not going to say that that one was an inkwell the other one looks more like an inkwell one oh pipe stem that means pipe bowls are near busted milk bottle oh what's that that lid there's got swirls on it quite like that one oh quite like that one can you see it's got like a a swirly pattern on it and it is full more or less little chip on the inside there that doesn't matter that would lend itself nicely but a craft so yeah we'll keep that jump oh what's that face there oh oh look at that one sec let's just oh i like that i do like that look at that oh oh i'm definitely definitely keeping that that face on there, that is a little beauty. What a shame. What a shame the rest of the plate isn't here. Oh, what a pity. But yeah, that is a keeper. And so is that marbly little teapot lid. Just for the new ones, put a wire around it, strong wire, put it up, do like um, a spiral at the top. You can stick pictures in it, stick place settings in it, whatever. Just a, a quick little craft to do with these lids, or you can put them on jam pots. Ooh, there we have a gigantic spoon. So I'm going to say dessert spoon possibly oh i do love one that's full nice patina on it i paid good money to get patina paint <laughs> but there you go that is great that oh, we'll think of something to do with these one day i have got a nice little box of knives for no actually you know what i don't actually have any knives i've never found any knives if i, um, I found knife handles knife handles but no knives but yeah forks and spoons varying various different sizes and um state of decomposition of <laughs> rot um, but yeah there you go a nice spoon That's, I'm going to keep that I'm going to use it for craft one day one day something will happen with that oh sent to try my jam pot oh nice I'm gonna I'm gonna say no because I'm still being good but there you go I'll show you anyway that's just got nice little crackle and quite wide quite wide lines on that and it's not 
it's not got a Hartley's thing on the bottom, but it's still a nice little jam pot. No, oh yeah, it's got a big bit of a chip there. But apart from that, that's a nice little find. All right, let's have a look. I've been looking at scouring on here, seeing if we can see any little beads and things like that, but nothing, nothing has popped out at me. Broken bottle, that's got a little bit of a label, but no embossing on it. What's that one? Is that viral? Viral. They're a nice little jar. I don't need any more of those. So there's lots of bottles knocking about. I saw one down here with a label on it. I don't know if it's a readable label. Let's have a look. Didn't get that close. One of these burst lip ones. No, no idea what that label says. It's always nice to see a label, but and that's a nice bottle. Nice and aqua. No chips or anything, so that would be a nice little find for someone. Should we go a bit further down in this hole and see if we can see anything? There's a bottle here. What I've also got to do when I come down in these holes, I've just got to look for any flashes of colour so that I'm not pushing any um, beads further in because you never, once you've stepped on it, you never find it again. What's that one? Is that a. Right. Let's see. That's a chest and lung mixture. Okay. That's nothing exciting. Nothing exciting for us, but it is an embossed bottle. What's that say? Sea Dutton. Found, oops, found plenty of those. We'll leave it up there because somebody else will want that. It's a nice little embossed bottle. Right, but I really am trying to focus hard on the little gems today. Probably a manky old button. Nice little aqua bottle. It's a little bottle here. What's this one? What's this little? Mm, looks like a pill bottle, doesn't it? It's got a label, but nothing worth seeing there. Clear, though. Burst lip. You find a million of these here. A million of those burst lip bottles. Right, I'm going to carry on looking. I'm just going to spin round where I am here and see if I can see any flashes of colour. Right, I've got a couple of milk glass jars here. Let's have a look at this one. That looks like it would have been ponds, but it's not got ponds on it. That goes narrower at the bottom rounded little shoulders there that's a nice one a nice little hand cream face cream that's sort of oh this one's a ponds this one is a square one ponds but even better than the little I made candles don't know if you watch me valentine's craft not everybody watched my craft but i did make candles with those very very simple to do you don't need a great deal of skill to make candles at all honestly you, you if you watch the video you'll know but look at that little glass stopper Oh, I didn't even see it. All I could see was the milk jar. Milk jars. But there you go. What a lovely little glass stopper. Is it a plain? Oh, no, it's not a plain one. I don't know what I'm saying. What is it? Is it Garten's? A Garten's sauce. Lovely little stopper. Oh, that looks like an unusual... Well, not an unusual bottle. It's a sauce bottle, but a make that I've not seen before. Star Table. Oh, it's Water Company. That would be water, will it? What's that say? Longside Manchester Star Table Water Company, but that's a sauce shaped bottle, so that's hmm, I've never even heard of that. Never even heard of it. Just shows you you think they're just sauce bottles, but give them a read because that's a, that's a company I don't know. Star Table Water, I'll look that up. Longside Manchester, well, there you go. More jam pots to, to test me, test my strength. It's nothing. I'm checking these amber ones now because. We found a, an amber square one that had boots on it. It was a, ended up being a really nice, um, a really nice bottle, a really nice jar. So, what these things? What are these? Oh, what a shame that's busted because that would definitely lend itself to craft. It looks like a spine, doesn't it? it looks like a metal spine. <laughs> Not quite sure what that is, but I think it's busted. It looks like it would have gone all the way round with those circled things. So yeah, I'm just gonna. Make sure, I'll look at the sauce bottles now actually, just in case they're a little bit of a something. What's that there? Oh, nothing, just a little oxo. A little tiny oxo, sneaking away. Down here, looks like a bead. There's a lovely dark blue, purpley bead there. Lovely. Over there, there's a lovely button, a bit worn out, I think. Yeah, let's see better days. Anyway. The beads nice though. Still got a bit of a cold, so a bit of a croaky throat there, but what can you do? <clears throat> Would have been a bit of a face there. You're trying to give an ear at the end. I'll see if Sarah wants that. 
I think I better take a lozenger. My voice is disappearing here. She's up there somewhere. Oh, just turned it. Just put that oxo down and just turn round. A place where I've been stood for ages. And look at that. <sighs> honestly, honestly, that's a that's an even darker blue. I've been stood here for ages. Honestly, I didn't even see it. Didn't even see it. There you go. That's a much darker blue bead. Right, I think I'll continue to not look for beads and then find them. I've just bent down here to see what that is in the side there, that white thing. It's probably nothing. Might have a dig at it anyway. Look at this jar, but then look here, just on the side. Just on the side, didn't even see it. As per usual, as per usual, these things appear to me when I'm not looking for them. Right, so that is a glass stopper, as you know. We love a glass stopper from the bottle. What I actually came down for was just to see if this I wasn't even going to film it. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love these. I love these little, um, let me just wipe it. These little ceramic pots. Oh, that's lovely. A little porcelain, I don't know what you call it, ceramic. What's it? It's got a number on the bottom, number 30. Oh, I love that. And I found recently a few lids that go on these things, actually. A couple of little plastic lids that just, is that a stopper? Look at that. Look at that. Hiding from me in the in the moss. Another stopper. What's that one? That's a gardens as well. Oh, oh we'll stay here for a bit longer. Lovely little jar. Two glass stoppers. Right. I might have thought I might as well have a look at this. It's a funny shape. It's a nice shape. I'll see what it was. Nope. I can't make out what it is. Don't want that. It's, it's clear. But I thought I might be able to see what the label says. But I can't. Right. You know what? That's not bad, is it? Um, that moss was protecting that little stopper. I wonder how long that stopper's been there. Ooh, I don't, I don't look and be spiders and all sorts in there. What's that? Oh, a busted amber poison not to be taken. Look at that. In the, well, this moss is hiding a bit of stuff, isn't it? Oh, not to be taken. An amber one. I've never seen an amber one before. Sort of a yellowy amber one, that as well, isn't it? Oh, what a killer. What a killer. I don't particularly want to move this moss in case there's like creepy crawlies, though. There's another amber bottle. Not quite as nice, is it? Not got the quite the same feeling as a not to be taken one. Right, I'm just going to sit here a little while longer and just look around before I make a move. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's busted. What a shame. They are nice, those poisonous, not to be taken. That is a beautiful colour. Unfortunately, it is busted there on the neck. So, that one, two poisons together. They can sit there happily whilst I just have a quick look around. Oh, just this glass catching my eye like a rainbow. Rainbow glass. wonder what that was. Something super, I'm sure. Look at that. Rainbow glass. Wow. What a shame that's not full. I would imagine some sort of just decorative bowl. I don't know. But yeah, very interesting that. Wonder what that'd be like melted down for beads. Like I'm going to make beads again, but you know, it just wouldn't, makes you wonder would the colour all just go into a murky brown colour or would it have some sort of iridescence to it? It'd probably just go in the murky colour, wouldn't it? It's amazing how there's just so many of these still keep getting dug up and thrown out. Right, what have we got here? What's the ponds? Another ponds one. There's another one. Ugh. Another one of those. Poison. Oh, broken. Another broken poison. What's that one? Laqua. Not to be taken. What a shame. Broken. Broken poison. Another one. Oh my goodness. Another one. Sent to test me absolutely every week. Right. That's a, oh, that's, a, oh, that's nothing. I thought it was a button. It's a snail snail right I'm gonna carry on looking around here what's that oh what shame oh what's that one oh it busted at the top but what pattern's that oh look at that what a shame about that one oh it's got a nice little pattern on it there I don't know what that would have been to me that looks like I don't know I was gonna say some sort of vinegar or oil or something like that but it's only a little tiny bottle so I don't know but Hmm, very unusual pattern on that, that's very nice. But it's busted, so I'm not going to keep it. Oh, what have you got? Oh, an ear. Okay, we'll have that. A bead, another bead. What, what's that? It's just rolled down there. A bead, wow, it has definitely been a bead day today. I must have found about four. You found three or four, gosh. From my neck. On, uh, honestly, after the rain, beads, beads are a good find. Beads and marbles, but look at that, an ear. And two beads, two different colours again. Super little finds. 
There's something up there. Right, hang on a minute. Let me just pop these in my pocket. What is up there? <gasps> That's not a bead, is it? That's a whopper. What's that? Another. Oh, my goodness me. Look at that one. Wow. Like a diamond shape. That is amazing. That is. That is a whopper. Huh? Just shows you one. You would have stood on that and it'd have been gone. It'd have been gone. Wow, this is definitely turning into be a bead day. I just said to myself, I'm going to just go down here and have a look, see what's tumbled down, what's been washed off. And just as I put my foot there, that looks like a red clay marble, and it is. That's a super little find. But yeah, what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk down the edge because I don't want to stand on anything. Because if there's any beads, you'll just push them in. They'll be gone forever. Gone for absolutely ever. So I'm going to go down to the bottom. I'm going to work my way up. I think that's the best thing to do. But yeah, red clay marble. Super little gem. Full of gems today. Hmm, that looks like an interesting green bottle. Let's have a look. Let's have a look just in case. Just because it's Oh, it's just a... Oh, it's busted anyway. It just happens to be a nice aqua colour. I'll pop that there. I'm still working my way down. Can't... You know what? I'll, I'll look twice. I'll look on the way down and on the way up. Hmm, and do the pipe stem. But the wrong end. We want the other end. We want the bowl end. Oh my goodness me. This is these are one of these beads that you will never ever 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 see again. Can you see it? Super tiny, right? I might as well show it you there because when I put that in my pocket, it will just get mixed up in all the dirt and whatnot. But it's still a find. Oh, wherever it's gone, there it is. Ooh, oh. Oh, it's gone. As quick as and as quick as that, it was gone. But I did find it. It counts as a find. But yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, my fat fingers don't really help when it comes to beads. I'm afraid. But like I say, once it, once you've dropped it on here again, unless the rain washes washes it off again, that's a goner. That was too tiny to save. Sorry about that. It probably would have never made it home anyway. Have you got something, Mick? Oh, oh I've just found one of those. Hey. Yeah, I found it up there. Oh, no, oh, that might be the one I found. <laughs> it might, I thought I'd put it in my bag. Maybe I didn't. Maybe put it next to my bag. Mm. A spoon. But I think that's the one that I found. Hmm. Don't know what that is. What is that? Hmm. It's clay. Don't know. Rounded. Hollow. Looks like pipe clay. But what is it? Hmm. No idea on that. That is a mystery. A mystery find, a clay something or other. Ugh, that looks like a little, some sort of old safety pin, doesn't it? Maybe it went on the back of a brooch or something. There you go, a little old metal safety pin. I wonder if I could thread the thicker beads onto that, make use of it that way. Maybe, but little, maybe, maybe more of a decorative thing rather than a safety pin for clothing maybe maybe it had something on it I think maybe a brooch or something like that there you go it's still in working order just climbing up out the hole is that two beads right here's one here one here and then there oh it's busted one but it looks like it's off the same bracelet or necklace whatever doesn't it Ooh. Bead day, won't keep, the, won't keep the broken one. Not that desperate, but yeah, there you go, full bead. Just as I walk past it a few times, as you do. There you go, bead, another bead. Wow, this is, this is definitely a bead day. Unbelievable. I'm doing really well, right down in there. Oh yes, I can see it, Mick. Oh my goodness me, I need something to scoop that up with. Once I go in there, that's a goner. <laughs> that is a goner. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, it's, right. It might go right. I might try. I'm gonna. Yeah, might do. Might collapse. I'm not gonna go far though, am I? Do you think? Scoop it up with right. I'm just gonna find something to scoop it up with. You can't probably can't see it, but there's a blue bead right in there. We're that desperate. Not that we're desperate or anything, but I'm gonna land my belly and try and scoop it up. Oh, where's another one here? Where's yeah. another one? 
something coming. Oh, it's half one. I found the other that half. Could, that could be half one in there, then could be the half. I've just found a half one out there. It's that same colour. Oh, right. That could be the other half of it in there. It maybe. might be, it might be. Let's just pop that down there. I won't glue it together. Try resting your foot on that, see if it goes. It's a bit of bum on the end there. Do you think? Yeah, to see how it, how it goes. Oh my gosh. See the ground disappears underneath you. If it doesn't, then you might have half a chance. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is just going to go. Right, I've got, I've got a cup to scoop it up with. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, it's half a bead, is it? Okay, it's half, it's half a bead. Oh, but you know, win some, you lose some. I'm in here now, let's have a quick look. No, nothing else that's sticking out. Right, I've got to try and get up now. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, done it. Yeah. Right, is that a lens or is it not a lens? Looks like one. Oh, no, it's plastic. It's plastic. I could still use that for something though, because I like the colour on that. That is def Oops, definitely something to craft with. I might store it with my glass lenses for when I find a use for those as well. Well, there you go. I'm exhausted from going down that hole, trying to get in that bead. Right, it's not a lens, it's a piece of glass, I mean, a piece of plastic, but I like the colour on it. That will lend itself very well to my... Oh, what's that say? Oh, yeah, that, was, that would have said butter. Right, but that is a keeper. Oh, I'm so glad this is still here. I'm so glad this is here. I left it, but you know what? As soon as I saw it, when I, when I watched the video back, you know what it looks like? It looks like a ghost. I could easily make that into a Oh, I'm so glad this is here. I was so sure somebody would have taken that for craft. I really was. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so, so happy. So ha easily pleased by something that I've left before. Because yeah, it doesn't look like a ghost. I could easily turn it into a ghost. A few chips around the bottom. Doesn't matter. Those can be mended. And a ghost face can be put on that. Oh, so pleased, honestly. Easily, easily pleased. Lots of stuff here that I've probably seen before. Let me just get this in my bag, so of it. Let's get that ghosty thing in there. Pots, tiny, there's so, so many tiny, tiny little oxos. What's that thing there? Is that something? Oh, that was a stone. That was a little egg. Never did find the eggs, the broken eggs. Right, lots of bottles here, but we don't want bottles, right, really. Avoiding the bottles today. We're really going on a gem hunt today. We're going on a gem hunt, if we can. Put at all possible. Oh. I'll look at things for craft. I think can I use some? What's that? Nope, that's something else. Right, I'm going to keep continue to look for the little gems, trying to avoid bottles and jam jars for as long as I can. I should bring you back if I find another super little gem. Look at that! A little chain and padlock. Oh, now that would really lend itself to a craft. That would, wouldn't it? If I can put in a sonic cleaner or something and get a load of that crud off. Ooh, that would be a great addition to one of my um, very, very um, industrial sort of crafts. As long as I can break off a lot of that stuff, that would be perfect. Yeah, odd find, but definitely something that I can use. A crusty, rusty chain and padlock. Ooh, just need the key. So it's, it's really so hard to look through the bottles because there's some absolutely lovely coloured ones here. Really, really nice and bright. But the plain and we're not looking for bottles but it's really hard when you see all these lovely coloured bottles to look through it and try and find the gems but right we're going to put this in my bag over there now with my ghost bag and ghost two very I mean look look at all these bottles just lovely colours look at that one that is a glorious colour lovely nothing on it oh yeah there is no there isn't it's dirt there you go what's this one here oops little one little one here might as well show you because in case there's new people we do we did used to pick up lots of bottles I pick up different ones now. Penny's Fever Cure. Now look at that, that is a beautiful colour. A really, really beautiful colour. And that little burst slip one. Look, they're just, they are, they're just so lovely. How can you not? You, you want them all on your windowsill, wouldn't you? That, that's my trouble, you see. Look, loads down there. Loads. Not, not so much the big bottles there. I've got enough jars to last me an absolute lifetime, but it's really hard to see past the bottles when they're such beautiful colours. Really, it is. Oh, what's that? Got something on there. Oh, it looks like some sort of light insulator type thingy, Bobby. Right, I need to get to my bag, don't I? Put this in with my ghost.
I'm hoping that just perched on there is a marble. Look at that. Waiting for another rainfall to fall down. There we have it, a lovely, another red clay marble. Look at that, it's a beautiful colour. Look at that, so that's virgin on green, that one. Little tiny bottle, that's a lovely one. I'm going to put that to the side. That's definitely worth somebody taking. Oh, jam pots. Jam pots, stay there, jam pots. Busted ones as well. Right, I really need to concentrate and look for some more little gems. What's that? That was a full one, that was like a... Oh, no, I'm going to say Castle Brand. It's very similar to Castle Brand. Look, but these, this one it has oval panels. That's a beautiful colour, a nice aqua colour, but it doesn't look sick. Oval panel bottle, that's nice. Probably had something in it like polish something like that but I'm going to concentrate and look for these gems and see if I can find you any. Just had to crawl underneath that, I took a bit of a wrong turn in the bushes, just had to crawl underneath that. As I've come out that looks like an interesting burst shaped bottle there. And that one, that, that's lovely that one, I quite like that. That's burst lip so that's what, oh sorry, that's a burst lip, that's what burst lip edge is, jiggity jaggedy but that it's a nice shape. It's got lots of bubbles in it. And I know I'm not going for bottles. I also saw a long neck panel bottle over there, but I couldn't be bothered scrambling about to get it. But that one, lovely colour. You can see there. I like that shape as well. Hmm. I'm definitely tempted for that one. I'm gonna take that one. I am gonna take that one. But yeah, just I'm just on my knees climbing under a tree because I took a wrong turn. Right, so I'm going to have a look on here and see if this yields anything. I don't mind, it, I think I've left a couple of glass stands here, I'm not sure. But I could do with a, a couple more. Well, I say I could do with a couple more, probably have got about ten left still. Not just glass, all, all sorts of different ones, but you know me, I'm a hoarder. Some things I can't help but hoard. Um, prefer the beads because they're a lot smaller. But come on, let's get looking. I went back to get that long neck panel bottle just to see what it looked like. Because I thought it was quite unusual, because you see these bottles. Have they got it writing on it? No, it hasn't. Hmm, not sure what, I don't want it. But I thought it was unusual because it had the panel on the front like that, or the back, or the front. Yeah, I thought it was unusual, a nice colour. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I wonder how many nice little gems have fallen down into this little stream here. I bet, I bet there's loads in there that have just tumbled down from when they've been digging or the rain's just washed it out. Think of all the beads and the marbles that are in there. I will not be going in there. It looks very mushy, it looks very murky. I wouldn't even take the dinghy in there. I've got a big floating mud pile over there. I don't know what that is. But yeah, I would imagine there's lots of gems that have gone floating down there. Lots of bottles on the edge that don't really appeal to me at all. As you know, today we are trying to avoid the bottles and it's really hard to do, as you've seen, because there's some beautiful coloured bottles. But let's get back to gem hunting. Oh, that's a little measuring glass, I think. Is that teaspoons, do you think? It's only, I've seen them with um, the lines further apart, which were tablespoons, I think, must have been. This must be teaspoons, maybe. Don't know, that's a nice old bottle with the measuring things on. You, um, there's a panel one, honestly. Oh, I do like these. Do you like these for vases? These make great vases. Lovely bit, big chunky aqua bottles. See what I mean? Hurtling towards the bottom of here. Well, not hurtling, but you know what? One big step on that or one big rainfall and it would have been gone. Ooh, ooh what's that one? What is that one? Ooh, a bit different, isn't it? What's that? Fletcher's Selby. Oh, another source. Got ridges around the outside. It's clear. But it's a stopper just on the edge there. Super little find. I don't know what stopper that is now. Number four, is it? Five? I don't know. Found quite a few today though, haven't we? Lovely glass stoppers. Oh, okay, that looks like an ink. Oh, a full one as well. I like a hexagonal ink. Not the most colourfulest of inks that I've got, but that is still a nice little find. Always nice to find them full. Yeah, that is definitely a keeper. A little hexagonal ink. A little red thing down here beside this teapot. I don't know what it is, but we'll have a look. Could be a bead, maybe. Yeah, some sort of bead. Lovely little bead. Keep that because uh, we do like our beads. Oh, that looks like an absolutely massive Milton's. 
Don't think I've ever seen one that big. It does, it says Milton underneath the bottom. That is a humongous Milton. Here's a nice bottle, make great apothecary crafts. I like that neck, I would call that an apothecary neck. It lends itself to doing potions very well, but that is massive, that is that is ginormous. Ooh, let's have a look what you've got there then, Mick. Ooh. Oh, oh wow, that's a dobber of a bead. Wow. Oh, I found two, two marbles. Tell you what, it's been a gem day today. Definitely all about the gems. Oh, and just as we're talking, Mick just turned round and spotted another one there. Look at that. So that's one, two, three, four of the red clay marbles. I don't know how many beads, loads of beads, but look at the size of that one. That is an absolute whopper. Don't know what sort of bead you'd call it, actually. I don't know. Big bead. <laughs> Hmm, now that looks suspiciously like a big dobber of a white clay marble. It's probably not. <laughs> you know what my eyesight's like, but let's go down and have a look because it's definitely today's a gem day. Oh, it's half a one. Oh, what a tricker. What a tricker, half a one. That would have been a lovely one as well, it's glazed. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Right, not the find of the century, but a little gem nonetheless. It's a button. A button heavily disguised oh, it's a metal one let's see if it's got anything oh it has got some sort of writing on it will we be able to see what it is will we Eck? Uh, very thin though very thin metal button it does have mm, can't possibly read that obviously not on this camera either because this camera is just a sports camera but yeah if you come on the live we'll have cleaned that up and the camera there is far better and we should be able to get a little bit of the detail of that and see what the, the name is on there. It's got writing all the way around it. A little metal button. Something we can look up later. Oh, just uh, seeing this little bit of a metal thing here. And I can see the word, the letters S-T-E-R. Oh, Lancaster. Oh, it says Lancaster. Sorry. L-A-N-C-T-E-R. I don't want to bend it now because of a feeling that will snap. Oh, but that's a nice little badge, a little... If I can try, maybe heat it up and get it flatter, then I could gild it. It looked nice, that Lancaster. Oh, a lovely little metal badge. That is definitely a keeper. And a little bit unusual as well. I wonder if it's off like a cat badge or uh, epaulets, maybe. Maybe an, off the side of off the sleeve, top of the sleeve. Don't know, but very nice, Lancaster. Another little gem. Is that a button? Let's go for it. Oh, a little bit busted, but it's a glass button. One of the ones with the two big eyes. They look like they could be little ghosts. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. They could be little, little ghosts, couldn't they? Add something to them. That is a lovely little button. Going to keep it, going to craft with it. Super little gem. I can see a marble all the way over there. I can extend my marble bottom to it, right over the tree. Right there. I'll try and get it where I am. Yeah, I think it is. Over here, right, yeah. Trying to get over there and get it. Let's see if I can get my children and get it. Possible. Oh, my God. There you go. A marble. Oh, a few new holes at the back here. That's good. What I can see here is a nice little lid. Oh, a nice little shaped one as well. That's good. Got a little bit of detail going on there, so I'm definitely going to have that. Right, is there anything else? Oh gosh, jam pot's going to leave you. Going to leave you. Can't see anything else on here. Bottles. Can't see any gems, but yeah, teapot lid will keep you. You are definitely a great little crafting piece. Ooh, what's that? What is that? Oh, it looks like a fancy floral lid doesn't it oh god no i'm gonna say i thought it was off a box we found it before but that box we found here was smaller than that but look at that how fancy is that i wonder if that would gild and look okay even even with the holes on it i wonder what that would look like hmm that'd make a nice background to something that actually gilded so look at that full yeah it's got a big chip it's got a chip in the side i don't think i'll bother but there you go i like that a metal thing patterned with flowers very very floral 
a bit of gilding on that will bring it out I'm pretty sure on that could possibly even make it look more complete as well with a bit of clay possibly but yeah that's a little lid of a little trinket box I'm gonna say no no trinket box around here though but just the lid Ooh, I think that might be a coin or or a medal or something like that I can't can't quite tell what that is hmm coin or medal we have been able to oh, it's got writing around the outside edge I think we have had them in the sonic cleaner before and we managed to find out what they are so I will take that little other metal thing there that could be something that coin oh, I'm not gonna lie today has been a really hard slog we said to ourselves we're just coming for gems that's all we're gonna look for we cannot keep bringing all these big stuff home we can show it but we just can't bring it home anymore so um, I hope you appreciate the fact that this has really been such a, such a long hard slog of a look for beads and stoppers done well for beads and stoppers bead stoppers marbles not done too bad but yeah we're gonna go out on the the main bit in a minute the flat bit and have a walk up and down there that that is hard work there we go another glass stopper oh it's busted oh it's busted one it's a half one. Oh, these half ones are great for fridge magnets though because they just sit flat like that when you're making a fridge magnet so we'll keep that for a fridge magnet it's still a usable thing a half a bottle stopper mystery object here that's wood but it's got like two metal ends on, on it what the devil would that be no idea mystery object it's not hollow it's definitely wood with like little copper or something ends to it don't know mystery what do you think what do you think that could have been all oh, right another one blimey another red clay marble well done mick and that was in the hole I went in, actually. It was over there. Though. Oh, right, you found it over there. Right, I thought you just got it. Oh, right, yeah. Tell you what, there's no beads at the back. I don't find any beads at the back. All the beads we find at the front on here, on this flat bit. I think we should have a really good look across here and see what beads and marbles have been revealed on the flat bit there. Oh, talking of stands, which I, I did briefly earlier. That. Oh, it's busted. Oh, what a shame. Oh, what a shame that stand's busted because that looks like it would have been a nice little stumpy one. Oh, what a killer. Little figurine. Little broken figurine. Gosh. Lots and lots of broken stuff today. Oh, look at that glass. Isn't that beautiful? I'm, just, I'm sure I've just seen a bigger piece of that somewhere. Oh, it's over there. It's a different colour. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? White. Is that what they call flash glass? You've got milk glass on the inside and then all those beautiful colours there. Oh, what a shame. That's not full. That's That's a... That's the uh, finished edge, that is the top of it, whatever it was. But yeah, there's a different coloured flash glass one over here. Let's go and have a look at it. Oh, that's orange. Orange one. Not quite the same, is it? That is beautiful. I could do nothing with it though. Unless I put a bottom on it, maybe a resin resin bottom could make that into something maybe. Ooh, you know what? It's not something that I would normally keep, to be fair. Can I? Because it's got that finished edge and I reckon I could put a resin, waterproofed resin bottom on that. I think we're going to keep that. That might make a lovely little like bud vase if we can get it watertight at the bottom. I might even try and have it done for the live actually. This is something I could have done for the live. Yeah, that'll keep me busy. Keep me here uh, on the straight and narrow. I shall have that finished for the live, complete with a flower in it, I'm sure. So tune into the live on the Sunday, half past eight. If you miss it, if you miss it on the Sunday, um, on the Monday, more or less, Monday, Tuesday, it goes over onto Kofi. Right, it's absolutely free, but just go over and watch it on Kofi, absolutely free. But yes, I will have that on the live straight the next day after this video, okay? Let's see what I've done with it. Hmm, don't know what that is. Oh, it must be a lid, I think. I thought it was the top of an inkwell. It must be some sort of metal, metal lid or something. Hmm, could use it for craft though, a little metal doodad. I've been doing a lot of it sort of industrial 
type craft because it's my sort of thing, isn't it? Industrial. Oh, what's that? Is that a bit of wire? Ooh, a bit of multi wire, multi stranded wire. It's not brittle. I think we'll have that because that lends itself nicely. Industrial. Yep, two little crafty pieces. Ooh, what do you say is over here, Mick? Oh, you know what? I was going to go around there, and then I thought, no, I won't bother. What, what a glass marble are we talking? Oh, yeah, you can see it now. You can see it, another one of these. Yeah, I didn't come down this bit. I thought, oh, nothing will be revealed, but it just shows you the rain does wash off all these little gems for us. And have a little look down now, just in case there's anything else on the side that's been washed, washed off by the rain. Super little find. There you go, there's another little find. A little stopper, a... Oh, it's a Vulcanite, it's a busted one. A little bit busted on the top. It's a Manchester one. Nine, no, no, B and E, not, no date on that one. I'm not going to keep that one cause just because that edge is a little bit gnarly. But still, it just shows you the rain does wash. And these places that haven't been doing, this one hasn't been dug for months and months and months. And in fact, I've never come here and seen this one dug. So probably a few years since this place has been dug, but revealing marbles and stoppers still. So after the rain, go to those dumps and just have a look around and see what you can see that's been revealed. Well, I think we could call that a day. Yeah, loads and loads of gems today. This was a gem yeah, fest. Lots of small stuff. Yeah, well, yeah. We're, we're going to go now. Yeah. I've still got a croaky throat. You've still got a croaky throat. And the flies around here yeah, aren't... Yeah, flies are really bad. Yeah, aren't very nice. They'll speak fast. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> if we swallow mm. them. Yeah, but so, was, that was a great little lark. Lots of little gems. Yeah, some of lovely, lovely little bits there. Yeah. Well, we're going to go. We'll see you all again. And the live tomorrow. And the live tomorrow. <laughs> and, um... And next week and on the next video. Week. <laughs> so I'm hoping my next time you see my throat will be a little more clear and I can speak better. Yeah. Anyway, take care now. Bye bye. Bye.